While Hong Kong has served as a blueprint for China's opening up from COVID, it's also a huge, huge cautionary tale. Now, when the Omicron variant swept through this modern city of seven and a half million earlier part of this year, the city's sophisticated healthcare system was simply overwhelmed. At one point, Hong Kong had the world's highest death rate due to COVID. There simply wasn't enough space to put all the patients or bodies. Some of the sick were put outside on gurneys as body bags with the deceased stacked up in some wards next to the infected living. Morgues, too, were inundated. Most of Hong Kong's nearly 11,000 total COVID deaths happened between February and April of this year. Like Hong Kong, China has a largely under-vaccinated elderly population, but on a much, much larger scale. And China, too, doesn't have the more sophisticated mRNA vaccinations available. We have to remember that China has been protected the public for so long. There has been no herd immunity in China. So um, this is going to start. And this process is not going to be smooth. It will be quite difficult. With the sudden dismantling of COVID restrictions, including mandatory PCR testing to enter public spaces, China is bracing for a surge in infections and deaths. More than 2 million fatalities by one estimate. Criticism of COVID zero is rapidly being replaced by concern that the rapid policy shift away from the all out eradication of the virus is happening too fast and that China is ill prepared like Hong Kong was back in March, for a health crisis of unseen proportions. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Hong Kong.